Hello, teachers, administrators, and district coordinators. My name is Mary McCarley, and I am the National Content Specialist with Goodhart Wilcox. In this presentation, I'll provide you a brief overview of working with young children, and we'll show you how to navigate the online platform. Working with young children is aligned with the FCS National Standards 3.0 for Education in Early Childhood. NAEYC National Standards for Early Childhood Professional Preparation Programs and provides all information students need to pursue and pass the Assessment for Child Development Associate Credential. Students will learn about brain development and its impact on developing children, child development theories and practices, creating safe and inviting learning environments, and preparing engaging learning experiences and activities that promote all aspects of children's development. Students also gain knowledge and skills in dealing with specific concerns related to infants, toddlers, preschoolers, school-aged children, and children who have special needs. Chapters open with colorful images to captivate student attention. Each chapter includes objectives, content terms, academic terms, and a reading advantage in career IQ activity, which serves as a chapter pretest. Notice the activity icon next to career IQ and content terms. By clicking on it, this icon will take students to the companion website for an interactive learning experience as seen by the blue arrow. Throughout all chapters, key vocabulary words are highlighted to grab the attention of readers and help better identify key terms. A variety of features support content with interesting facts related to young children and an early childhood education career. Safety First feature provides tips on how to maintain a safe environment to avoid risk to children's safety. The Learn About It feature contains supplemental content related to chapter concepts. Since health and safety are important topics in working with young children, the Focus on Health feature highlights recommendations for maintaining a clean and healthy environment. Workplace Connections brings chapter concepts to life for your students. Each chapter incorporates follow-up discussion questions. In addition, an entire chapter is devoted to careers in early childhood education. This chapter discusses career options, interview tips, resumes, cover letters, and much more. Working with young children contains content that emphasizes a multicultural perspective, which provides a great foundation for students. A variety of end of chapter review materials contain robust activities. These include summary points, check your career IQ post-assessment, recall and review, vocabulary activity, and critical thinking. In addition, the core skills feature link chapter concepts to various academic subjects and to career expectations in writing, reading, math, and speaking. The Portfolio Project helps students create a diverse portfolio to be used for college or career readiness. As I mentioned earlier, our textbook is interactive, allowing students to click on icons and go to the companion website, which offers a variety of activities, such as pretests, e-flashcards, vocabulary activities, vocabulary games, recall and review questions, and post-tests. All of these are easy to use and navigate and fun for students. Review and extend learning with the student workbook. These pages can be printed or students can complete them digitally. Engage students with the observation guide. These activities help guide students through the observation process that is fundamental to evaluating children's development. These pages can be printed or students can complete them digitally. Teachers, you will also have access to our extensive instructor resources to help you plan and facilitate your course. The instructor's edition and all instructional materials are found on a convenient online bookshelf and accessible at home, at school, or on the go. Support materials include 
detailed, ready-made lesson plans, ready-to-use editable PowerPoint presentations, graphic organizers, additional handouts, Teachers can also create customized chapter tests and unit exams using the ExamView software. Lastly, teachers will have access to textbook, workbook, and instructor resource answer keys to make grading easier. These are the instructional resources for teachers in the online instructor resources. Teachers will have access to the student textbook, the companion website, student workbook, observation guide, instructor's edition, and the online instructor resources. The student online platform will be very similar but will not include the instructor resources. For those schools who choose to integrate with a learning management system, your online platform will appear differently than what you see on the screen, but the resources will be the same. Now let's take a look at the online platform. These are the online instructor resources for working with young children. I'll show you how to navigate the resources. First, let's start with the student textbook. The student textbook is divided by units and by chapters. I'll click on chapter one, you working with young children. On the left-hand side, you'll see a toolbar. The plus allows you to zoom in and see this image closer. Minus, zoom out. The third button down, or the contents button, allows you to go to another unit or chapter of the book. Click again to close. The fourth button down, or the resource tab, allows you to go directly to the companion website. The companion website will house the interactive tools from within the pages of the book. Students can access it here or from within the pages of the book by finding an activity icon, hovering over it, and clicking on it. Click again to close. Lastly, both students and teachers can print pages of the textbook. This could be extremely helpful if you have a student with an IEP or a 504 who needs to mark a hard copy of the text. There are arrows on the left and the right that allow you to go to the next page of the book. We are on page six, so page six of the digital text will be the same as page six of the hard copy of the text. You can jump to another page of the book by typing in the page number here and clicking. You can also search our book by a key term and it will take you to all the pages of the book that include that key term and the key term will be highlighted. This was a brief overview of our student textbook. I'm going to click the My Bookshelf tab in the top left corner to go back to the main landing page. Next, the companion website. The companion website can be accessed from the main landing page here or from within the pages of the textbook or the toolbar. I'll access the companion website from the main landing page. This is our companion website. You can see that these interactive tools are divided by chapter. I encourage you to review these interactive tools. Next, let's look at the student workbook. The student workbook is also divided by units and by chapters. I'll click again on chapter one. On the left-hand side, you'll see that familiar toolbar. This time, the fourth button down or the resource tab is going to allow you to see the workbook with form fields which will allow students to type directly in the pages and submit digitally. I'll click on, from chapter one, the truths about early childhood. As you can see, students can type directly into the form fields, then submit digitally. I'll click the My Bookshelf tab to take me back to the main landing page. Next, let's review the observation guide. The observation guide is also divided by units and by chapters. I'll click on chapter one once again. The fourth button down is going to allow me to see the observation guide with form fields. I'll click on teacher responsibilities. And as you can see, once again, I can type directly in the form fields, then submit digitally. 
Next, let's review the resources that are also available for teachers. Teachers, you will have access to the Instructors Edition and the Online Instructor Resources. I'll click on the Online Instructor Resources. You will see three gray tabs. I'll review each of these. First, Resource Material. Here, you'll find information on best practices, pacing charts, rubrics, correlations as well. I'll minimize this gray tab. Next, chapter resources. Teachers, this is where you'll go most often to help you plan and facilitate your course. Let's click on chapter one again. Here you'll find textbook answer keys, workbook answer keys, instructor resource answer keys, lesson plan, graphic organizer, and additional handouts. Also, there is a PowerPoint presentation. If I click on another chapter, you'll find that the format is the same. I'm going to minimize chapter resources. Lastly, assessment software and question pool. This is the software that is needed for teachers to create and customize exams for students. Now is the time to update your curriculum. We offer print resources, digital resources, and bundle for those districts who prefer print and digital resources for students. We integrate with learning management systems, offer rostering implementation options, and teachers can post to other platforms such as Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams. We offer easy, quick implementation, training, professional development, and ongoing support. If you do not already have access to our online platform, First, contact your GW Educational Consultant today. Second, schedule a 60-day free preview and try the resources in your own classroom. Third, choose GW. Select implementation and training dates and you are ready to get started. Let's work together to build careers.